Hi guys, it's Courtney Walsh and we're here with another Faith Friday. This is our third week of doing these um, scrapbooking your faith, documenting your faith prompts. So if you're just, this is your first week here, um, I would encourage you to go back a couple weeks and um, right now it's just set up for six weeks and then I'm going to kind of see how we are with our move and everything. I would hope to continue because I do think this is like super important. Um, you know, it's something kind of near and dear to my heart. So um, this week I'm I'm really excited about this prompt. It's, it's not your typical feel good, happy prompt. And I think that's really important. I think it's important to um, take a look at the whole picture of your spiritual journey. Um, years from now, I, I sure don't want my kids to think that I had this thing all figured out. I, I mean, I know there's going to be moments where they're questioning or they're wondering if what they're doing is right. And um, I, I think there can be a lot of wisdom passed down from um, my mistakes and my misconceptions and the things that I am currently kind of um, muddling through. And so one of those things is disappointment. And I've talked about this kind of a lot actually on my blog, especially in the last month or so. Um, <clears throat> when we get disappointed, a lot of times we have this tendency to say um, that we might, well, I do have this tendency to say that I must have done something wrong, that perhaps God is punishing me, or um, there's, you know, I'm trying to kind of spiritualize all these reasons for this disappointment. And then, you know, two months down the road, I see that, oh, that was all part of the plan. Because if that had gone the way I wanted it to go, then all of this other good stuff that's happening um, wouldn't have happened. Um, but there's also, you know, really di real disappointments where, you know, somebody gets sick or somebody passes away. Um, and I think it's very easy for spiritual people like us to um, wonder where God is in all of that. And so for me, um, I wanted to create something that was, uh, it, it's going to seem, you know, um, like an encouragement to myself, sort of like what we did last week. But at the same time, it's it's kind of a scary thing for me. And so my page is just called Hope. Um, and here it is. You can see it here. It's it's pretty simple. I use, just for <clears throat> your knowledge, I use this Teresa Collins paper, which I I love like pretty much everything Teresa does. So this one I just loved. I, I love that you, <clears throat> I didn't have to put a bunch of solid stuff with it because it's got such kind of a cool pattern already. And then you can see here I included um, the verse that kind of kept coming back to me about this particular topic. Um, I find that in the midst of disappointment, in the face of disappointment, it's very difficult for me to have hope. And um, I've sort of been challenged in that because I don't think that it's necessarily the way that God wants us to live, where we don't believe that we can be hopeful. And <clears throat> for me, it was always about, you know, if I was hopeful, then I was setting myself up for a disappointment. And so I really wanted to take um, the verse that God led me to during that questioning time, and, and since then, probably three or four more times, because I have a very hard head and I'm incredibly stubborn, which my mom will tell you. Um, and so it, it just it is one of those things that I, I have to document this. I have to get this down because I know that probably in another week I'm going to feel this disappointment again or I'm going to feel worried to hope. And I wanted to have uh, documentation of that. And so um, I'm really excited because Tanya Willis, who is, um, I actually got to meet her once at a um, CHA in Chicago, and um, she's just the sweetest person, and she is sharing her project today as well. So I get to share that. Um, I really, really hope that you will share your projects, and that if you've been disappointed, and that if you've had um, kind of a fear of hoping for fear of disappointment, that you will document that, and, and document the journey, and then share it with us here, or um, on your own blog, or, or however, um, and then leave it in the comments so that we can come and look at it. I have some um, pages to look at today. I'm really excited to see what you guys are doing. So I would encourage you to um, take a take a few minutes and just kind of sit with with this prompt of um, create a page that documents a disappointment, um, what you learned from it. If you're in the middle of it, I think it's great to get the ugly stuff down on paper. Get how this whole thing makes you feel. You know, I I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that it's it's therapeutic. Um, I think that it's beneficial to you and it will eventually be beneficial to the people that you love. So that's the prompt for today. I really want to thank you guys for joining me here. I'm really excited about doing this and, and, and having for my own self the chance to get back into it because it's been a while since I've actually really focused on this topic of, of scrapbooking your faith. So that's it for today and I hope you'll join me next week on Faith Fridays. Thanks guys.